Well, with the uh, towing bracket successfully mounted, as far as I can tell, we're going to mount the wheel brackets and in a uh, uncharacteristic stroke of sensibility, I actually numbered each of these brackets as I tapped the towing arms or the wheel bracket arms uh, so that I'd make sure I had all of these aligned properly. Now these were all cut and fabricated identically, but there's always some variation, especially if you're using a vise and a handheld saw. So I've numbered these brackets, one and two. These are the wheel bracket arms, one and two, and they should uh, line up accordingly. We'll see if that actually happens. Uh, and we'll introduce the long bolts, and we'll also see if these uh, cutout uh, areas that I uh, chiseled uh, a couple weeks ago will actually accommodate the um, bolts that I have. Oh, we're back and it's time to mount the wheels. Uh, I was a bit nervous about the placement of these bolts and the reason I'm nervous is because that's not the way the thing, these fabric, or these uh, wheel brackets were designed and now I know why because of the possible interference with the wheel bolts themselves. Fortunately uh, these bolt nut combinations are just outbound enough that I think we'll have clearance, we'll be able to mount this thing without a problem. I don't know about the opposite. Oh, we got the, the uh, right side or outbound wheel, the non-towing arm wheel mounted. Uh, alignment went okay. Uh, a little bit of brute force, but also a little bit of adjusting here on the uh, dropout or bracket to uh, get it in a closer alignment. In a few minutes, uh, we should have a completed bamboo bicycle trailer project with the exception of the test flights. That because these brackets were fabricated differently, uh, this bracket on the outside actually fabricated according to the plans, and this one and the other two uh, fabricated sort of backwards. We have a, a sort of misalignment here so that we have a um, camera problem and uh, that's going to mean uneven wear on the tires unless I correct it. Uh, one approach would just to be sort of line it up and tighten the bolts down as hard as possible. Over time though that's not going to be satisfactory but uh, uh, the other thing is if I could create a shim here of some kind uh, to sort of hold that in place. Um, I don't know what that might be. Uh, some bolt but uh, of some kind but uh, for right now, I think I'll probably just make sure this tire is in good shape, or the tube that is is in good shape, good enough anyway. Uh, put this whole thing together and put it on the road.